morning my friends, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. I'm making a, a weekly habit of screening by the post office. You guys may or may not know, but we do have a PO box to where you guys can send in fan mail. And I have been not going recently, but I went this morning and this is one of the coolest gifts I've ever been gifted in my life from one of you guys. A nearly exact replica of one of my favorite builds ever, the Hyper Blue Evo 8. This thing is super, super cool. Unfortunately, I didn't catch the name of who made this or who sent it, but whoever it was, just know that I appreciate it. It's gonna go in the house on my section where we store blown turbos and broken pistons and rods and whatnot. And to everyone else, whoever sends anything in, I really appreciate it. You guys have sent me a ton of stuff over the years. And no, I don't really show it on the channel, but know that I appreciate it. It means a lot. Let's head to the shop and get some work done. So we have a few different tasks to get done today. Number one, we need Bobby's Evo 10 100% done by the end of today. We are painting, as far as I know, this weekend, and Bobby does want a few things changed with the car. We'll discuss that later. So that's first thing. Second thing is we're gonna finish tuning the Evo 10 as well, this car here, and that's about it. So let's just get started working on cars. So all day I have been prepping out Bobby's panels for the paint job and we are working on the rear bumper right now. This is the last panel to finish up other than the body of the car. Now the body of the car is like 99% done, but I'm gonna go ahead and make this rear bumper perfect. There was a little like outwards dent in the rear bumper. So I need to go ahead and kind of grind that out, sand it smooth, get it filled with this here flexible glaze from USC. This stuff is made for plastics and bumpers and works perfect. So 
So we gotta let that cure up for a couple minutes and then we can sand that smooth and do a little bit of filler primer in that area. You need to explain to your family, Leah, what's up? What's what? Why are we putting your stock bumper and trunk back on your car and skirts and painting them as well? Because we're not doing a stock color. What color are you doing? Whatever I mix up. Okay. Care to elaborate or should I elaborate? You can do it yourself. So Bobby, being that Bobby's dad is a professional painter and they mix their own paint at the paint at their paint shop. Bobby has elected to do a one-off color. I'm not sure how much variance, very, how much dip. I'm not sure how much, I'm trying to sound smart. I'm not sure how much different versus the, the OEM Phantom Black she's gonna go. I guess she's just gonna wing it and have her dad mix up whatever. Mm -hmm. You want it more black or something? Yeah, more black. Okay, she wants a little more black. It's still gonna go black, so of course we're not gonna spray the jams or the bay as of yet. Maybe in the future we'll spray the bay. I don't really know. Apparently this is now a show car. So with that being said, we're also gonna be painting our factory side skirts, front bumper, and trunk. And the reason for that is... Oh, I'm sorry. You have to explain. The reason for that is... Oh, because... We'll... Basically, when Bobby's gonna sell this car, who knows when? She's already trying to sell her STI and I'm not letting her because it's ridiculous. So when, whenever Bobby sells this car, she doesn't want to sell it with the Varus skirts, the Varus bumper, or the Cybon trunk. And now with that being said, being that we're not doing a factory color, we're going to go ahead and spray the OEM panels as well. So everything is going to be perfect. Everything's going to match. Thankfully, it's going to be very, very easy because they just need a light scuffing. And then guess what? We're done and ready for paint. And I know you're not looking forward to this project tonight, but Bobby. I'm so sick of sanding this damn car down. I have 40 other projects I need to finish, including your favorite project sitting outside that nobody knows about. I was supposed to start that a few days ago, but I have yet to receive your help. <laughs> ha! Bumper's in good shape. It has some whack FQ 400 vent that nobody likes. Rear deck lid has a little something there that I'll probably just fill in. Tiny, tiny dent right there that needs to be filled. Skirts just need a quick sand. So Bobby, pick your poison, grab some 600 on the DA and knock it out. Well, friends, Bobby and I worked until 10, 14, we worked until 10, 14 p.m. Everything is done except for the front bumper. So we're gonna come here tomorrow and finish off the bumper. All right, we are headed back to the shop right now. I gotta give Bobby a little ride in the STI. This is probably gonna be her new car that she drives for a little bit. When it's not being rented out on Turo, she can choose between whatever car she wants because I have a lot of cars that are dailies now and both of our cars are currently undergoing some major processes. Resprays, motor builds, turbo setups. There's a lot going on with Bobby's cars right now. A lot more than my cars. Do you see me? All right, let's go ahead and knock out the body work we need to do. Just a little bit on the rear bumper. We gotta finish that up from last night. And then a little bit on the trunk as well.
I got these parts in some filler primer. These need to sit for a while overnight, preferably before I do any sort of sanding. So here's what we all left. And this has to be done by tomorrow midday because we're actually starting this paint job a little bit early. So Bobby is gonna go ahead and sand out the entire front bumper. I'm gonna finish up the chassis of the car. I'm going through right now with a gray scuff pad, doing all the jams, like a quarter inch into the jams to where the paint or the, yeah, the paint is gonna bleed into. And then the whole car needs to be redone or gone over again. It doesn't have to be, but it's recommended that we go hit the whole car again with 800. So all these pieces over here, those are already 100% done with 800. And then tomorrow, this thing's going into American Way Collision Center and we're painting. Not tomorrow, but we're getting started. Yep. Yep. Righteous. You got that right. Roughly, I would say about 100 hours later, we're done prepping this hunk of poo ooh, 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 cut. <laughs> Any advice you'd give to fellow, fellow preppers? Don't ever paint a car. This shit's ass, huh? It's pretty crazy. Imagine doing jams in the bay. That's the next big project. The bay's actually pretty easy. So next time we have your motor out, I'll probably just, you know, go ahead and hammer the bay out for you. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm gonna wrap it up here. Tomorrow this thing's gonna head to the booth. We do have to pull the glass, which is easy, and scuff around the glass. But of course I didn't wanna wash the car with the glass out because the inside would get wet. But yeah, tomorrow this thing's gonna go to her dad's shop. And uh, I don't know what we're doing. So Bob, hopefully you know what you're doing because I don't. I guess I kind of left off with the Evo, the wide body Evo tuning. Um, I never finished it up. Bobby's car of course took priority. So we'll get that thing hammered out in the next few days. It's almost done. We're just turning it up and making more power, but it's fast. I think we're on like 24 pounds right now in pump gas. So we're, we're getting there.